Hold on, hold on, wait, are we gonna drink this? I've had butter beer, not butter coffee. Breakfast. I love breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. I love breakfast. It's my favorite. Pancakes are my favorite. Well, I hope you're hungry because today we're going to challenge you with four different breakfast cooking hacks that the internet loves. I've literally never cooked breakfast before. I don't know how. I'm excited. I'm hungry. But am I going to have to be doing the cooking? Yes. Uh... The first hack is a way to make coffee into a breakfast substitute. Okay. I feel like coffee's already a breakfast substitute. When I drink coffee, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> My favorite part of coffee is the two tablespoons of butter. It's a big chunk of butter. But I mean, I, I love butter, so it's okay. Organic coconut oil, okay. What are they making? Well, now they're just making a cake. This feels like more steps than coffee. Hold on, hold on, wait, are we gonna drink this? Breakfast coffee. Wait, that's it? Like, I thought we were gonna bake something. I'm just gonna eat a block of butter, yum. I feel like there's zero nutritional value. How is that a breakfast substitute? This bulletproof coffee is a staple breakfast substitution in the keto diet, which essentially eliminates carbs to boost the metabolism. But is it drinkable? We're gonna find out. Butter apparently makes everything better. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's get it. I've had butter beer, not butter coffee. All right. Well, I remember two tablespoons of butter. Making butter coffee. Two tablespoons of butter. Ooh, that looks like it'll be good. Big strong arms. I got it. How much coconut oil was it? About that much. That much, okay. I've never put coconut in anything in my life. And then the milk. Okay, that's enough. Sorry, good coffee. I'm gonna have to ruin you. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look appetizing. I don't know what does. That looks yummy already. This is terrifying. Oh my god. Ah. That is. Whoa! The power! Whoa! Mm. Smells pretty good. Okay, maybe I should stop. Butter coffee, butter coffee. Ooh. Call me a barista. Uh -huh. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. That tastes exactly like coffee. Yeah, it just tastes like coffee. <laughs> It needs like more vanilla and sugar. Oh no, that tastes disgusting. Oh God, that is awful. What health benefits do you get out of it? I, I don't understand. I don't really taste the difference between that and just $2 coffee that I put in my machine. I just gained probably like 10 pounds, but that's it. Okay, oil, pan, easy. Oh, uh, is that an onion? I love onions. Oh my God, this is already gonna be so good. That looks delicious. I love eggs. Interesting. Salt and pepper, okay. Beautiful egg. Look at him. Look at the beautiful. Yeah. This is probably gonna be my favorite one. Hell yeah. Nobody showed that to McDonald's. They could sell that for 99 cents. Anything with eggs and onions is a masterpiece to me, so. I will thoroughly be enjoying this. So supposedly this method of frying an egg guarantees a perfectly round, evenly cooked egg every time. Okay, because of the onion, right? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll go just for like a big one, because it was kind of thick, wasn't it? Oh, there you go. We're gonna make it happen like this. Now that's an onion. Not bad, but this onion right in here. Get them going. Hopefully that stays. My eyes are already burning. Oh, the uh, egg is definitely gonna go through this onion. No! Stay. Yeah, see, it definitely went through. All right. Oh, sh I knew it! I knew it! He's going over the side. Nice. 
And then they just added some salt and pepper on top. Let's put this up. Oh my god, it was off. The salt and pepper, then we're gonna cover this bad boy. Bam. That's a lot of pepper. I'm really looking forward to eating this one. It looks good. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. My onion's burning. This whole thing's gone to shit. This one. I'll drink my butter coffee. I'll take it off now. Let's see. Get the plate ready. And up. Ah. Now that's breakfast. There. Ooh, delicious. <gasps> She's so cute. Voila. Not bad, a little burnt on the bottom because I had it on high heat and I forgot about it. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Ooh, it's not bad, honestly. The onion adds a little bit of an extra kick to it. It's not bad. It tastes the exact same. Wow, she is perfect. I'm like in awe. I thought I was gonna do terrible. Good, but needs more salt. I like it. It's more flavorful than you would expect with just a typical egg. I think this is a fun new egg. This is good. I just think it's an extra step for the same tasting egg. All you need to do, really, if you want to cook the top, just put a lid on it. What does the onion have to do with anything? I wouldn't do this. I don't think you guys should do this. Next, we've got a hack for making hash browns without an oven or griddle. A microwave? Toaster oven? A toaster. <laughs> My favorite. There they go. What a high-tech toaster, too. Damn, man. This is blowing my mind right now. Look at them just rising out of the toaster. That was kind of badass. I've seen people do this. They probably turn out great. I'm really excited for this one. This is practical. I'm such a fan of any recipe that just involves pushing something down and then waiting for it to pop back up. All right, if this works, this man was on another level. This is interesting. This is something I'd probably do at home. They're looking good, they're getting crisp. They're sweating, they're sweating in there. The only problem I could see is like, it's kind of starting to melt because as it gets hotter, it gets softer. So it might just like squish down into your toaster. Oh, I can see it sizzling already. It looks good. It looks ready to me. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was sad. That was a very sad little jump. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to be skillful with this because it's hot as f It's hot. All right, let's try this. Oh, it's cold on the inside. Mm, it's good. So hot, very hot. It's also not really cooked evenly all the way through. There's like a cold bit in the middle. It's good. I need that like egg yolk right now. I think it's worse. Mainly because it's just so soggy on the inside. Whereas if you just put it on a pan, it's crunchy and good, so. But I'll still eat it. Maybe I didn't have it on the highest setting. I think it could work. <laughs> it's f***ing hot now. <laughs> now we're f***ing talking. I'm a fan. Make this, get an onion around my egg, put some butter and some coffee, and we got ourselves a breakfast. We've got one more hat. Sick, okay. Are you ready for some pancakes? Yeah! Yes, yes I am. Oh, I've seen this, just using like the squirt bottle for the pancake mix. Oh, this is stupid. Interesting, okay. <gasps> Baby pancakes, my favorite. Is she making the buffering symbol? We can make some pancake art. <laughs> That's just extra steps that are unnecessary. Just grab a ladle, scoop it, and put it in the pan. Not only does this hack promote recycling, it also makes pancakes way less messy. It's fun. I think anybody that can innovate pancakes, they're doing good for hu humanity. Bam. We're like the uh, national office of pancakes. All right, Papa wants some pancakes. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty cool. I still have a lot to make. Okay, that's it. I just don't want it expanding on me. Is that even? Nah. <laughs> I like it because it's fun and you can make little shapes. That's cute. I just still think it's a little bit too time consuming. Okay, that's a little golden brown. Okay, the mouth looks like it's almost time to flip. We 
we could do this. Huh. Not bad. That does not look like a pancake. Now we gotta do a little cute plating. Okay. F it. F it. F it. You think I'm gonna plate it all nice? No way. This is a good idea. I like this. I didn't make a mess. It tastes like a pancake. It's more the utility aspect of it is really cool. And also pancakes are delicious. I'm always open to more suggestions about pancakes. Having a squeeze bottle, especially if you're gonna do art with it, I think it'll help out. Don't look here right now, but if you're good at pancake mix, if you wanna make art, totally do it. You just learned four new breakfast hacks. Okay. Which was your favorite and why? The hash brown one, obviously, because that's my favorite thing to eat. That onion egg, so good, so cute. I love it. The pancake one is really smart, and the onion egg is just a good new way to eat eggs. Like, I'm excited to try that again. And finally, would you say any of these hacks are better than the way that you were cooking these breakfast items before? You know, I think I'm gonna stick to cereal. This is a lot of work for not that much. Thanks for watching us try breakfast hacks on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every single week. Which hack was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, React producer Mary here. Be sure to subscribe to FBE's newsletter to stay up to date on all the things happening with FBE. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.